Magic. Hello everyone and welcome to Race Room Racing Experience. I am in the Chevy Camaro. Doing seven laps. Let's see what we can do here. This is the first time I ever drove this car in this game. It's a beast so far. I did like a half a lap here on Bathurst. And Let's go. And it's just, um, it handles really well. You don't really have to worry too much about the, um, the rear end sliding out on you. It's pretty, it handles really surprisingly well. I was surprised. So I made it down the other side of this hill and then we started. So I just wanted to get a feel for the car a little bit. And, whoa, come on, dude. Let's go. Ooh, little bumpage, never hurt anyone. You're in the middle, clear left. I do have visual You're damage middle, on. Three wide. Clear left. It's a little crowded through here. Right side. I can't remember, I think I was in like 32nd place or something. I was last place, 36th place. Hold your line. Seven laps, I figure I was trying to get as close to the front as Hold possible. I'm not sure exactly what strength this is. Maybe adaptive AI. Play right. Play right. Not sure. On your right. I just slapped the game on and jumped in the car and said let's go i love this track if you don't love this track you don't love racing i'm just gonna say it right there i just said it you heard <laughs> but no this is one of my all-time favorite tracks i believe it's in perth australia um if i had this track in my home hometown or my my state i would be awfully I, I would be like living, I'd have a tent next to it. Cause this track is awesome. This nice long straightaway, I would just getting every bit of the speed out of this car. It's insane. I'm not in VR. Um, it's having a little bit of issue with my VR as far as um, this game goes, trying to get things lined up again. I'll, fi I'll figure it out. I am using the Rift microphone because it seems to be the best option for me right now with Shadowplay. But I wanted to get out seven laps to you guys to get this race out to you guys um, as I tested out this car. It, I have a whole bunch of cars. Um, certain Santa got me a bunch of VR points. VR points? No. <laughs> VR points. He gives me points in it's a weird system they got going on over there. You got virtual racing points. VRPs, I think they call them. Virtual Clear racing left. points, like I just said. Ooh, did you see that pass back there? That was insane. Come on, let's go. But um, I also have uh, Crew Chief installed. I haven't used Crew Chief in a while because they talk a lot. Um, usually have third gear through here, and then I switch down to second right. gear. It usually gets me at least a spot right. if there's a lot of congestion. Right right. Seem to lose speed a little bit through there. I don't know if second gear is the proper gear for that, but that's the one I'm going with. And I, whoa, ooh, that's the one I'm going with. Oh, well, I don't promise to not hit any walls. I'm not perfect on this track, especially in car cars I don't usually run with. But I don't do too bad. Usually when I'm pushing it a little too much, that's when I start tapping walls a little bit. I don't try to be too dirty. I mean, this is AI, so I got to be a little bit aggressive. Try to get up to the front. Um, if it's a if it's adaptive AI, the first race you race with them will be fine. Um, I found that out. Um, if you race a second race, say for instance, I finish this race and then I go into another race in the same on the same track. I don't know if it's the same car or not, but they will be up to your level skill level, which. Um, I've tried that and my skill level must be pretty decent because they are hard to pass if you try to race them the second time with adaptive AI on. But since I started all the way from the back, adaptive AI will work for me. 
it seems to be working. Um, I hit a button or two on my keyboard, and I've lost my um, my HUD. So my HUD information, like um, the laps, my position. <laughs> So I have to rely on this one that's going up on the left hand side when they cross the start finish line. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate each and every one that does stop in. And I sound like I'm uh, a tour guide right now. <laughs> but this car feels great. I should have looked to see what kind of car it actually is, like the, the exact name of it. But I know it is a Chevy Camaro. Left side. Clear left. I'm going against, I believe, it, it is a GT3 car. Um, I believe I'm going against a lot of other GT. I see an, an Audi um, LMS. I don't know if that's an Ultra, but that's one of my all-time favorite cars. It seems to be the most stable car for me in like project cars too. Um, it's not quite the fastest, but it handles like a dream, and it, it's it's fast enough, I think. And I usually, I don't know anything about setup, so what I do is I just use default setup in most of my races, which I would probably pee myself a little bit if I actually had a decent setup in a car to show me exactly what I'm missing to get better times and stuff. Yeah. Car left. The white flag. Oh, 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 clear shit. Bender, bender. On your left. Get out the way, dude! Three wide, you're in the middle, clear all around. Through there, luckily. Got a bunch of spots, though. I know that much. I don't know what spot I'm in, but I'm not last. That's what counts. But I want to give a huge shout out to RVR Closet. And if you guys, anyone's watching this right now, you need to go over to RVR Closet and all the guys that I'm going to post all their channels down in the description. They all have really cool. Left. Cool videos, you know, quality content. And if you don't go over there, you, you will most certainly be missing out. Great group of guys. Um, big shout out to RVR Closet. Lit nice little Christmas gift. Got me a whole bunch of points, so and I couldn't hold until I wanted to get the the big pack. But, Car right. but I'll be able to buy the rest of it after right. Christmas or on Christmas. But I got a whole bunch of content. Oh my god. I love every bit of it. Just, you guys don't. You can, there's, there's a free version of um, Race Room Racing Experience. You guys can, there's a handful of cars, a handful of tracks you can try out. Um, just go over there and check it out. You will not be. I'm sorry you did. It's definitely a really cool game. And I think I'm going to make a video where we discuss what you guys think the differences between a sim, and I hate using the word, but sim cave, different elements in games. Like, I want to, I want to, I'm talking to you guys, it helps me, like, kind of concentrate a little bit. I always race a little better when I, when I talk. Um... I want to I want to go through and and talk to you guys about like a settled course, not the new one, but the, the original settled course, um, race room racing experience and project cars two. Do you think those are? Well, we can talk about it now. Do you think those are Simcade? I think these are Simcade, or which one out of the three do you think is the most? Is deserving of the name Sim Racer. Because I know, I remember when I first got Project Cars 2, or Project Cars 1, the guys that I hung around, you know, we used to love the game together and we figured, oh, cool, racing. Because we did, um, what's that other game that they even made it into a VR? And it really, it was an ar arcade big time. From Sony PlayStation. Keep thinking of Ridge Racer, but that's not it. Ooh, right. Um, the one that made everyone sick. You guys know which one I'm talking about. That was arcade for sure. Well, we got to Project Cars, and right. a bunch of my friends right. couldn't keep the car on the track, and they're like, the game was really hard. Um, but that was on controller, and they had you know 
Project Cars had an issue with being on controller for a while there. I use the steering wheel if you don't know. Ghostmaster T150 Pro. But I took to it really good because I used to have Need for Speed Shift and, you know, games like that. Now, we can also include there, I really don't think that Gran Turismo Sport is any kind of a sim racer at all. It feels so arcade to me. I could be wrong, but it's just my opinion. Post down in the comments, what game in order do you think classifies better? Like, say for instance, Project Cars 2, if you think that's the first one, that's the closest to a simulator. Um, or, and then go down the list, put the second one, a set of course, uh, cause this would be mine. I think that's, that's, that's really close. I think, I don't mean to take away from the praise, but it's it really is hard to pass. I think, um, it's a close, close, Thing for me between Project Cars 2 and Race Room Racing Experience. They each have their own thing about it that it's really good. I think Project Cars 2 does really good with um, VR. Now, Race Room Racing Experience is really known, in my opinion, for their sound. The sound is phenomenal. It really is. I like the overall feel of the cars that you're in. Right side, clear right. Um, Subtle Corsa would be third in my book. Um, it stays alive because of the mod community. That's just bar none. It's the best. Oh Left shit! Side. Talking to you clear guys left. is what clear happens. Around. I get an accident. <laughs> Anyways, no, I'm just kidding. But okay, so it's. I guess Project Cars 2, it's, it's so, it's neck and neck with me, and they go off and they the rest. But it's neck and neck with me, I really, really, now that I have more content for race room racing experience, I do like the actual, the overall feel of these cars. There's certain things I would change about it, but I know, like, for Project Cars 2, there's so many different things that you can, like, set up and, and I mean, every little detail, and I think that's what really qualifies in my eyes. It's physics and stuff, and the things that you can, your car set up, you can do in a lot of different games. Even ones that aren't sim, but it's getting as close to realism as possible, so I would say between, I mean, neck and neck, Project Cars 2 and Race Room Racing Experience. Stuff the reason why I say that is because one of the things that Race Room Racing Experience does that I don't like is whenever you hit someone in the rear or you get hit in the rear, you'll like tend to hit them and make them go sideways a little bit too unrealistically. That wasn't a good example. Sometimes you hit them a little bit harder and they just really, there's no recovery whatsoever when even if it was a straight shot. Because if you hit somebody in the rear with a, in a straight shot, they should just get a boost. They shouldn't, like, it's not like their wheels are turned or anything like that. Right side. Play so the contact, the different, um, different styles of contact that you may have with a vehicle, sometimes unrealistic physics, in my opinion. This is my opinion. Ooh, you know what? I think this is for first place. Come on, baby. Come on. Left. Yeah. Clear left. This has got to be... I don't... Is this the last stop? I don't know. See, I, I mess with the buttons on my keyboard before this race, so the overlays are gone. I gotta figure out what, what I did wrong. But this may be the last lap, so we'll see here in a minute. As I've been babbling, this, the, the, the laps have just gone flying by. Final lap, baby. Let's do this. Okay. So we got one more, one more lap to go. But it just feels good. And when VR, you do put the VR to this game, it works. It feels pretty, pretty cool. I mean, with 
with the sound and the way everything looks, the graphics are really decent. I'm frustrated with um, a set of course of competition. It is so glitchy for me. I don't know if my PC just can't handle it or if my settings are up too high and then I get into the cockpit. Oh shit. Ooh. Get into the cockpit and everything's reversed from my steering to everything's inverted. <laughs> so it's like I gotta go back. This shit. And now I'm trying to push too hard to try to get away from these guys. But everything was reversed. Well, tell me what you guys think about all this. Have you tried a set of course of competition? And what do you think about it? Oh, let's not the same dirt track. Same dirt rally. Let's go. Come on. But um, let me know down in the comments what you think. From numbers from the very top one being your uh, most sim-like racing game to the very bottom. So mine will be Project Cars 2. It'll be the most sim sim like uh, uh, game then race room racing experience a set of Corsa um, and at the very bottom for me would be Gran Turismo Sport not a big fan of that the, if you if you really look at the way that whole game feels it feels very simish I mean arcadeish not simish but with that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you're not a subscriber, why not? We'll catch you in the next video. I am your host, Magic. I hope you enjoyed this video. What a car. Thank you, RVR Closet. And see ya.